Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding unique orders and customers per month and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. This question has been asked in Whole Food Markets interview in the last couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called orders with four different columns, order ID, order date, customer ID, and invoice. These are the data types of each of these columns. Order ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the orders made by customer ID. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the number of unique orders and the number of unique customers with invoices greater than $20 for each different month. Okay. And the order of the result does not matter. Okay, so to understand the question more, we let's go through this example. So here we are given the orders table with certain records and four different columns. And the output is basically this, right? So the first thing that you should notice here is that the month column only has the year and month, right? So it does not matter what the date is. If it is a particular month and a year, so we count them as one group right then we need to do the order count okay so let's go and see what is happening so 9th so september of 2020 in the month of september of 2020 how many orders were there two right and remember this is the primary key so this can only be non-null unique values similarly for 10th uh, 2020 again two but another thing that we need to keep in mind is we only have to include invoices where which is greater than 20. So what we can do, the first step that we should do is only keep those rows where the invoice value is greater than 20. Okay, so let's start with it. So from orders table, what are we doing? We are only keeping those rows where invoice is greater than 20 okay so for september 2020 both of these are greater than 20 so we the number of orders two for october of 2020 this is not greater than 20 right so only one order so if you see october 2020 the order count is only one right for Sep uh, november 11 2020 both of these are less than 20 so we don't include them right and so if you see here there is nothing like you know november of 2020 order count zero or something like that so you just exclude those where wherever your invoice is less than 20. so basically what is by writing this where invoice is greater than 20 we are automatically taking care of that right so things like that so after this what we need to do is we need to group by the order date right so group by the order date but if you see the final value has months right and the dates are not exactly the dates so it is basically the month and the year so how do we only extract the month and the year out of it right so some of you might think okay so this is very easy if i extract the year part and then add the the month part then it will work so what i mean by that right so let's say i write group by you know year of order date right and then this value and then the month of order date right and if i concat concatenate the entire thing so concat this entire thing right but what will happen is that this is this will create a problem what is that problem so when you are extracting the year out of order date right so let's say for this example so year out of this is 2020 then you add a dash okay good till now but when you extract the month out of order date, it won't extract 0, 9. It will extract 9. So 9 was the month. But if you see here, here it is 0, 9. 
So for these kind of months, so 10, 11, 12, so two digit months, it is not a problem. But where the digit is between, you know, January to September, so our output should include 09. But doing this method won't work because the month extraction is only one digit. So this won't work. So we should do another step. So another way to do this is where we know that you know at all the times that zero will be extracted whether or not it is a one digit or a two digit month right so there is a function called substring so basically we can extract certain part of a string right so substring from where you want to extract the values so from order date column which position you start so remember in sql the starting index is one not zero so this is one two three four and so on right so we start at one and then we see the length from that starting position so length from that starting position. so what do we need to keep the year dash and the month right so one two three four five six seven so seven positions right so now this is what will give give us the first seven digits basically of each of the values in the order date column okay now once we group by what we need to return we need we need to return the month so select the same thing right we select the same thing we alias it as month because our final output has month month then we need to do order count order count is basically what number of unique orders and since this is the primary key it is only going to be non-null unique values so we can count the order id we don't need to write count distinct order id because there is going to be no repetitions in the order id column because again it is a primary key so non-null unique values by default so and this is order count so we alias it as order count and the third thing is customer count so how many unique customers now if you see customer id there is repetition so in this case we should always count the distinct customer so in September of 2020, we had two different customers with customer ID one and two. For let's say November of 2020, we had two different customers. For December of 2020, uh, yeah, right. So same customer. So in this case, the customer count should be one, right? So December customer count should be one. So that is what we need to do. So we count the distinct customer id and this is aliased as customer count okay so we don't need to order it any in any way so this looks good so yeah let's go ahead and try to run this and see if it works okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output there is no difference so let's go ahead and sum it and see if it passes all the test cases. Okay, so this passes all the test cases and it is accepted as well. So yeah, this is how we can do it. Again, remember why did the concat method was not working? Because of the problem that the output should have the dates basically trimmed down to the month part, right? So it does not matter the date, but only the month and the year, which this table was calling the month column. So that is why concat wasn't working. So we had to extract, directly extract this from this date. So we did that by using substring and then we just grouped by substring and only kept those rows where the invoice was greater than 20 and we just returned the different counts, which was asked in the question. So yeah, this is how we do this. Let me know if you guys found this video useful and I will see you guys in the next video.